Welcome back. In today's video, we've got another fictional animal fight for you. We'll be predicting the result of a fight between a scorpion and a vinegaroon. Who do you think will win? Place your bets now. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to not miss any amazing fictional fights here at Snooze. Before we can predict the fight's winner, let's take a few moments to compare these two animals separately. Scorpion These creatures belong to the Arachnida class. Scorpions are also closely related to spiders, mites, and even ticks. What makes scorpions dangerous is that they are venomous. Much like venomous snakes, scorpions have the ability to kill a human in one bite. That's scary, isn't it? How do scorpions catch and kill their prey? Scorpions use their pincers to capture and crush prey. However, in some cases, they will also use their venom to kill their prey. Scorpions can be observed in many types of habitats. However, most scorpions prefer deserts and semi-arid regions. Most scorpions hide under logs, rocks, boards, and clutter. Some, such as the bark scorpion, rest on vertical surfaces like trees, bushes, and walls. These creatures have tails that they whip around to make them move faster. They can whip their tails at speeds reaching 51 inches per second. That's one powerful tail. Scorpions vary in size, and when I say vary, I mean it. The smallest scorpions measure less than one centimeter in length, while the largest ones can measure as much as or more than 23 centimeters. That's around three quarters of the length of a ruler, by the way. In other words, that's massive. When it comes to weight, scorpions usually weigh between 0.5 and 5 grams. But enough about scorpions. Let's have a look at the vinegaroon. Vinegaroon. So where does this weird name come from? Vinegaroon is based on their ability, when attacked, to discharge an offensive liquid that contains acetic acid, producing a vinegar-like smell. If you weren't sure, these creatures can be very dangerous too. This vinegar-like substance can cause serious infection if it gets through the skin, so vinegaroon bites can be very harmful to humans and other animals too. These insects are nocturnal, meaning that they stay hidden during the day and become active at night. That's also when they go hunting for their prey using their scent skills to find their sleeping prey. Vinegaroons can weigh significantly more than a scorpion. The largest vinegaroons weigh as much as 13 grams, compared to 5 grams for the largest scorpions. Just like scorpions, the vinegaroon also has 8 legs. However, two of these legs serve as antenna-like sensory organs. The vinegaroon also loves deserts. However, this species is mainly found in North America only. For example, Arizona, Florida, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Texas, and even Mexico. Well, now that we have seen the two creatures involved in today's fight each separately, let's begin the fight. The fight. Realistically, these animals would only cross paths in the deserts of North America since it's the only part of the world that they both share as their habitat. While both of these animals have eight legs and can run quite quickly, the vinegaroon has slightly larger legs due to it also having a larger body. Because of that, the scorpion would not be able to escape the fight very easily. It's safe to assume that the scorpion would begin by using its claws to try and crush the vinegaroon. This is how they kill their prey usually, after all. However, the vinegaroon would also fight back almost immediately. However, not using the same strategy as the scorpion. The vinegaroon's biggest strength is the acid that it can leave on predators. Because of this, the vinegaroon would surely spread some of its liquid on the scorpion to fight back. Despite the vinegaroon not being very strong physically, the toxic substance it can leave on surfaces can be deadly. On the other hand, the scorpion has strong claws making it more strong physically. Now that we know this, let's reveal the fight winner. Winner. Well, even though both of these creatures are quite similar, the vinegaroon has more advantages. The truth is that even if the scorpion managed to kill the vinegaroon, the scorpion would later die from the vinegar that he was covered with during the fight. With that being said, the undisputed winner of this fight is the vinegaroon. What a crazy fight. What do you think about the result of this animal fight? We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to share your thoughts with us down in the comments section below.
Until next time, snoozers.